Hey everybody, Tony from Shooting Star SVG back and today I want to talk to y'all about why I personally will not be using Gumroad for digital products. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does give me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And if you haven't already, head on over to the Facebook group where we are creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. Um, I'm tired, y'all. It's 2 a.m. I'm transitioning to night shift and it sucks, but I said... Let's just create a bunch of videos, get them scheduled for the month of March, so that way you'll have something to check out. But to the point, there's been a lot of chitter chatter about the increase in Etsy transaction fees and what other options do I have? And I thought, what more, what better time than now to look into some of these other avenues that I've been meaning to look at? So one of the things on my list was Gumroad. So I decided to go check it out. I was like, if it looks good, I'm going to go ahead and give it a go and we'll see how I do. But the more I looked into it for digital products like SVGs and printables that we sell in places like Etsy, Design Bundles, Crave Fabrica, Creative Market, Hungry JPEG, wherever, do not recommend. So this could be against the more popular opinion. Not really sure how long this site has been around, but I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like because at first when I looked at it, I was like, man, I like the aesthetic of this site. I like the look. It looks interesting. Um, but then when I started doing a little bit of searching around, I just got turned off. So I'm going to head over to my computer screen and show you exactly what's going on. So I am logged in. I'm not logged in <laughs> because I don't have an account. I'm on the Gumroad website. So when you go to gumroad.com, this is what you see. Go from zero to one dollar. With Gumroad, anyone can earn their first dollar online. Just start with what you know, see what sticks, and get paid. It's that easy. Um, seems too good to be true, right? That's basically saying, hey, throw a bunch of stuff up to the wall and see what sticks. Kind of like trying to figure out if your spaghetti is done cooking. Eh. Anyways, um, you'll see this, see what sticks, you know, throughout. Um, basically, start small, learn, get better, and keep going around and around and around in a circle. Um, so they're saying, you know, instead of selling a book, you go ahead and sell a blog post. Ooh. Basically, you can make your own road is what they're saying. So it sounds really good, right? I'm going through this. I'm like, wow, this sounds fantastic, right? So it says you can sell anything, video lessons, monthly subscriptions, physical products, whatever you want. Basically, it's a good place for you to experiment. Now, as I'm going through reading this, I'm getting more and more excited. I'm like, Maybe this is exactly what we're all looking for because it sounds good, right? It does. So there's some testimonials. It talks about selling to anyone, you know, how this one guy was taking pre-orders and he got zero dollars. So he changed his plan. Uh, you can sell anywhere, get a personal website um, and, you know, some some more stuff. How much money people are making. So again, they show this scale, start free, pay less as you grow. So basically, like if you have zero dollars revenue, you're paying them nine percent plus 30 cents on each transaction. All right. So they have set transaction fees plus a fee when you sell. And as you start to sell more, that fee will decrease over time. And I'm like, OK, I mean, considering I'm not paying listing fees, 30 cents and nine percent isn't so bad. But if you think about Etsy fees, we're paying 25 percent on transaction or I'm sorry 25 cents plus three percent and then now going to be the six and a half percent um for Etsy to take on transaction fees okay so you have the six and a half percent plus the processing fee of 25 cents and plus three percent of whatever your price is so the fee schedule on Gumroad is actually kind of similar and more than Etsy all right at that zero dollar limit uh, when you get up to like maybe $10,000 or $100,000 in revenue, then yeah, okay, it goes down a bit, uh, but not much. So there's a university that you can get uh, involved in as far as like the uh, community. Um, 
And, you know, it does have some articles in here about how to earn a side income uh, selling digital products. So I scrolled through all this and I was like, okay, let's check out the features. So I clicked on that. It talks about opening your account, adding products, selling, get paid, repeat. Okay, we all know how that goes. Uh, your store, your way, um, and all this other stuff, all right? Nothing that was really like, okay, this is crazy to me. Although they do remit VAT on your behalf, so that's kind of nice. Um, and then I was like, okay, well, let's look at pricing. So I go to pricing. It gives us the same shebang of lifetime earning milestones and the fees that they have. No monthly fees, free to start. So I'm like, hmm, okay, uh, maybe it's beneficial. But again, comparing it to what we're paying on Etsy, it's pretty similar. Um, so then it goes through and compares to Patreon, Stripe, Teachable, Kajabi, Padia. What I thought was interesting on here is they're not comparing it to Thinkific, which is the personal site that I use to host my courses on. Um, so I just thought that was interesting that they didn't include Thinkific because they are pretty high up there on, you know, platforms to sell courses. But so uh, Gumroad, if you're watching, you may want to include Thinkific on your list. OK, um, so you can see that their transaction fees are here uh, in transparent. Uh, that they remit that they have the ability for memberships courses digital downloads email customers in an affiliate program a lot of these things other platforms have as well okay so keep that in mind um and then again it goes through some of those same things that they had on the home page and then um some of the faq right so how do i get paid um paypal okay um or direct deposit and basically, it varies depending on where you live. So they do have multiple ways of payment, all right? But then I was like, okay, I'm curious. Like, is there anybody on here selling SVGs? So I clicked on Discover. Um, and this is where I got really, really, really turned off, okay? Because, you know, we're dealing with a lot of trademark and copyright infringements on Etsy, whether it's Disney, Marvel, people stealing our shit and then countering our claims. So we're forced to go get a lawyer. It's just ridiculously exhausting on Etsy. Like, I'm over it. I've gotten to the point now where I've just stopped reporting shops because I'm like, you know what? If they're going to go make 50 bucks or 100 bucks or whatever, yeah, they're taking it out of my pocket. It's irritating. I was spending so much time and energy on it. I'm just like, I can't do it anymore. Obviously, Etsy's not doing anything to stop this. So I'm just, whatever. Okay, so I'm here and I just wanted to type in uh, SVG at first is what I did, Okay. So when I did this, it comes up with a bunch of stuff by feature, sorting it by featured. Um, I didn't really put any other uh, source in from here. And I kind of scrolled down. And a lot of these are like, you know, vector-based. You can see here the Design Hippo, which is a name I recognize, uh, has a pretty big craft bundle. bundle 590 plus cut files for Cricut, which is a shit ton. I'm sorry, a lot. Um, and then you kind of keep scrolling down. And I was like, okay, I don't really see anything. Like if I'm targeting SVG... I'm not really seeing anything that's going to help me. So let me get a little bit more um, specific. So I'm like, okay, SVG bundle. And then I started scrolling down. And I'm like, all right, coloring templates. And then here's where I got pissed off. Harry Potter, The Grinch, Yellowstone, this design pack with all these freaking Disney designs, all these drinks, all of this Frickin' copyright and trademark infringement shit. No, excuse me. Nightmare Before Christmas. More Disney. White Claw. And then that's when I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm making the video. I know it's 2 frickin' 30 in the morning. I'm making the video. I'm letting everybody know. Gumroad is not the way to go. I mean, you click on this. And it's gonna... I mean, I just... I just... I just don't understand. So, I mean, here we go. Creative purposes, which could be used printing it. It's a partial image um, on the listing. It's not a physical, I mean, I just, I just, I just can't even, right? Um, and then they're showing their reviews on Etsy, which is crazy to me. So they took their freaking reviews from Etsy where they're doing all this copyright infringement shit stuff. And it's whatever. I'm gonna start bleeping over my swears because lately my potty mouth has been really bad you could blame that on the maintenance guys at work. So thanks, y'all. Um, just unreal, right? So if you click on the ratings, they do have ratings on this. This is sold 98 times. So, I mean, I don't, I just, I don't, oh, I, I just don't know. I mean, so you could click on buy this and it's going to take you directly to the pay area and then you can go ahead and pay $15.50 for this bundle. 
So that's it, y'all. Because Gumroad is allowing the same stuff that's happening on Etsy, I'm done. I'm not even going to entertain the platform because it's just not worth it to me. You know what? I put a bunch of new stuff up on design bundles the other day, and I will admit I was a little sloppy. Uh, I woke up the other morning and I had like five of my products removed, which doesn't happen very often because I'm usually generally pretty careful about what I post up there. But I didn't recognize the fact that I had posted a, a newspaper Tumblr wrap that had faces and stuff in it. And they're like, yeah, we can't do that. Um, but the thing is, is I wasn't mad about it, right? I wasn't pissed off. I was happy that Design Bundles was like, hey, Tanya, uh, we took these products down. Just thought we'd let you know. And here's why we took them down. So now I know in the future, don't do that. Don't be sloppy. Also, don't do that. But... They took the time to remove it, but tell me why they removed it. And I just really appreciated that because you're not going to get that on any other platform, right? You don't know what you don't know. Um, and they're really good about taking stuff down as trademarks ebb and flow. But anyways, back to the point. Gumroad, not a fan. Um, will not be setting anything up with Gumroad. And that is my recommendation. I mean, y'all can check it out if you want to. It seems a little bit good, too good to be true. Maybe we could pave the way for the uh, platform itself. But personally, just seeing all that put a very sour taste in my mouth. So, you know, five out of five, I give it like a one out of five because it seems like it's trying to do something a little bit different for creators, which is great. However, yeah, just, just come on, monitor your stuff. So Gumroad, if you're watching, digital sellers would love to be on your platform, but we're so tired of the copyright and trademark infringement bullshit and we just don't, yeah, no, just don't do it. So that's my recommendation. If you guys have any questions about the platform, let me know. I'm happy to answer how I can. But as of right now, do not recommend, okay? So if you got something out of this video, please click on like and subscribe below. That does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And if you haven't already, head on over to the Facebook group where we are creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. And as always, if you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Shooting Star SVG, signing out.